Hey! Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. We've got mail. Let's see who it's from. Hey, hey uh, uh, I said let's see. Again? That's what I figured. I'm very far away right now, but I'm okay. I know you'll come save me. Yes, I'll take something to this letter. I hope it will be useful. <laughs> and five one-offs once again. Man, man, those are handy, I guess, when you get back into the game like this. <laughs> well, to an extent, I suppose. Wait, 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 wait. Ha-ha! <laughs> Getting those star bits. All right. Wild Glide Galaxy begins right here, right now. Ready? Fluzzards. First flight. A fluzzard first flight, excuse me. Why did I say fight? I don't know. Well, anyway, <laughs> fluzzard is the one, the big bird in back there. The little ones in front are gibber jays, like blue jays combined with gibbering, talking, you know. Yes. Yeah, yes, yes. <laughs> Even though they're not blue, I can't talk. I can't talk. So, Glint, the goal is tough. Is it really now? Is it? Is it? Lizard! Lizard! He can't fly so well on each side! So shy! But he seems okay with you! Maybe he'll even carry you a glide! Come on, come on! I'll teach you to glide! Will you fly with Lizard? No. Oh, too bad! So sad! Come back some other time and fly! Okay. Oh, no. Hey, wait a second! I'm trapped here! What? Impossible! Well, I can't, I can't get over these fences for some reason. All right, I guess I have no choice but to fly. All right, so here we go. Let's fly with Fluzzard. Tutorial first. Glide, we glide. Woohoo! <laughs> okay, okay. Here's how we glide. The level keep it flat. Uh, 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 uh. uh, uh. Okay, somebody had trouble centering there for a second, but okay. Yeah, yeah. It's like starting position. <laughs> The turn left from the starting position is tilted left. Tilt! Woo -hoo -hoo. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Do, do, do. Next, gently point down to do a nose dive. Gently! Woo -hoo -hoo. And a slow down, point up! Up! Oh, yeah, we got this in the bag. See that at the end where the sun thing is? That, that's a comet medal? Yep, and how do we break that open? Well, we gotta fly through these sunburst arches along the way, five of them. And, uh, yeah, if we don't do that, we ain't getting that Comet Medal, so... Victory only comes to us should we get that Comet Medal, and... It's kind of difficult to actually tilt, um, while pointing for star bits, but, well... I'll probably manage it. There's five of these gates around here, so... Oh, shoot! <laughs> Don't don't hit the walls, by the way. If you hit them too too recklessly and roughly. I do believe it's an instant kill, if I recall correctly. I could be wrong about that, though. So just mainly focus on getting to the end of our little obstacle course here. Not that difficult or anything like that. It's just just a matter of relaxing, going with the flow, nice and slow, and making sure that you get the stuff. Here's a split path here. And I'm gonna actually take the left path because I don't generally see people take the left path, even though I like, get a couple of star bits are going down that path. You can actually go over the gap and switch over to the other side right here if you want to. Like a figure eight of sorts if you want. It. Oh, that was close, if you wanna call it that. Alright, so here we go. It's gonna break open now. See it? It broke. And now we gotta collect it. Oh, yeah! That's our comet medal. And complete with collecting the star at the exact same run, baby. <laughs> oh, you flew! You flew! Even Flizzard looks happy! Happy! Take the star! Thanks, fly! Flizzard looks exactly the same as when we first met him. Does he look different to you? Does he? I don't think so. Oh, wrong, wrong, wrong. No, ah, uh, no. Seems the same to me. <laughs> Woohoo! Yay! Oh, maybe I should have talked to that other one off to the side. Well, well, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. <laughs> anyway, we're done with this here. And we can move on to the next galaxy. There is another star to be collected there, but we can't do that until we get an invitation to something. 
So, we're gonna have to leave that for now. Game gets saved. And we're off! To... here. <laughs> Woo! You should have plenty of stars to open that now. And look at that, it's last place, Bowser's Lava Lair! Well, last place in World 2, of course, Bowser's Lava Lair. And it's named Bowser's Big Lava Power Party! <laughs> now you're playing with power! <laughs> See, there's a comet metal above those womps over there, you know, those tall brick-like guys? Yeah, yeah. Alright. Oh man! Super Mario 64 music! Yes! Oh! oh! <laughs> I said it's a grand star head. Way of stages, though. Be careful. Oh, okay. I'm sure I could handle myself. Oh, jeez. Okay, we're, we're okay. <laughs> oh, jeez. Magic Koopa, take that, you monstrosity. Oh, yeah. Wait, what is this? What is this? Oh, well, you can point at this and grab. Oh, man. Woo. <laughs> There's some rather tricky stars in the original Mario Galaxy that use those things a lot. But, well... But, well, who knows if there's any like that in this game. Who knows? I think I could just, like, triple jump to get up to the other planet. But let's see. <laughs> From the spring bar, few ground pound at the bounce high! Woohoo! See? Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, I think I could triple jump there and probably get into the gravitational field of the other planet. But, eh, yeah, maybe not. I don't know. Not too positive of that. That, uh, that in life enhancer mushroom there, I mean... Shake, 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 shake. Yeah, that's something that would come in handy. There's also one that you've seen on a post later on in the level near the end of it. Uh, anything else to show around here? I don't want to plop myself in the lava. It's not one hit kill, it just kind of burns your butt. And then you kind of run around on land like a crazy man until it's all, until it's all out on its own. And yeah. <laughs> Oh, here's a tip. You can just spin while you're in midair like some men even a lot easier. Sure, sure. Here you go! Oh man! Flipperoos! <laughs> oh, look at that. You can offset the timing of those flipperoos. That poor toad over there is stranded, but Mario's just leaving them behind. Man, Mario. Man, Mario. You get some extra height spinning in midair. You can also spin the land and time your jumps perfectly. Oh man! Back to Mario 64 music. <laughs> so they just kind of flip. Yeah, they flip on uh, inner like individual in between intervals, basically in rhythm. Hey, how's it going, Mario? We found a coin for you! Woohoo! <laughs> that coin was really. That was all they found to help us. <laughs> now, ultimately, watch this. Yep, you can stay on those platforms for as long as you can time yourself through that. Photoboos, having a good time, or maybe they're lava bubbles. Kinda hard to tell, I swear. I swear. So, Hammer Brothers, you seem pretty dangerous, but we're in 3D. This is not 2D anymore, so I can dodge your hammers pretty dang easy. <laughs> and the shape of a star! Whew. And up here... Oh wait, did I... Oh, okay, I was gonna say, did I miss something? No, I, did, I didn't miss anything. I didn't miss any sort of path. We're okay. We are still golden. <laughs> and down we go! <laughs> dry bones. Still pretty dry. Need some moisture. Need some oil of ole. Uh, what's in here? Probably star bits. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> that, that's, those are some pretty risky star bits to get. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so now Womp's over here. They've got the same weakness as the Womp's from Super Mario 64. Ground Pound, they're back. They crack open. Yup, yup, yup. Go, go, go. And you can also crack stuff open here. Pound those dry bones into semi-dust. But more, most importantly is this one right here. This one is a little, little bit on the tricky side. You know, yeah, you gotta use this back to get up there to make it e as easy as possible. How's it going there? <laughs> Meteorite, you can ground pound it to break down the door! Oh, excitement! But is it true? Is it true? Oh, yeah, it's true. <laughs> Woo! Alright, we have reached 
A midpoint! Oh man. Things are eating the floor right out from under us! This is not good. Not good! Oh! I know it's so much! Oh, please take this star bit! I'm sorry, it's not a one up mushroom! <laughs> it's the, these star bits! Everyone's just too panicky to collect more than just meager coins and three star bits. <laughs> So as you can tell, the, the floor literally gets eaten out to uh, Black Hole Town, so don't mess around there too much. I mean, I guess you could get that one up and stuff like that, but it's, it's kind of kind of in a risky spot, just saying. And uh, Snake Blocks, oh yes, they have returned, but in 3D! <laughs> oh no! There's another Life Up dealio there to collect this. Three of them in this level, I guess. You gotta go down, that's for sure. <laughs> and now we're getting more narrow. Oh no, they're not the statues. Anything but the statues. Uh oh. Oh geez, they're firing. They're firing their lasers. Oh geez, that's a really old meme, isn't it? <laughs> I almost, almost my foot on there. We're okay. We're okay. By the way, they eventually those snake box. They eventually, yeah, they sink down into the lava. So, yeah, yeah, it's up to you whether or not you want to stay on them as long as possible, but I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> so yeah, here's the other, uh, life up. <laughs> they're, they're awfully generous here, I've got to say. Okay, so now you can see from a distance, there's, well, camera, there's three Bowser uh, locks, I guess you could say, but I'm going to just take a look-see around here, see if there's anything hidden around, uh, yeah, is it the camera is not really cooperate <laughs> cooperating well with me. It was not designed to be changed direction in this particular point. Okay, so now instead of having the aim straight out, we gotta aim at a slight angle. So, yeah. <laughs> It'll go in the opposite direction that you are moving at. I should say that you hit it at pool style, you know, billiards, so if you hit it down here, it'll move upright. Oh yeah, like a pro. One more lock to go. And this should do. Ah, oh, I nicked the tower! <laughs> okay, a little bit little bit narrower angle. There we go. <laughs> we are good. And we are off. Hmm? Hmm? Ooh, fancy. Look at those shiny, beautiful floors, and holy moly! I like how Bowser's chair is actually a castle. You know, the armrests. <laughs> you showed up! Look at you, running around like a little flea on a puny planetoid. No one isn't puny? My massive new power. The power to flatten you like a space pancake! Let's do this. <laughs> Bring it on, Bowser! <laughs> so we're on a little planet. There's coins in the rocks, of course, to recover your health and stuff like that. That's pretty standard. So the meteors are falling from the sky, and we gotta get him to aim his punch between them so he doesn't smash the meteors. Get on the meteor and guess what you gotta do. Yep, this is like the meteors on the outside. Smash them into his body while his fist is stuck on the little tiny planet that we're on. <laughs> and obviously this planet is a, a little Bowser Castle texture in on itself. <laughs> Another nice little detail. Two hits? Oh, oh, no, no, we're not done. We're going into overdrive. <laughs> oh, it's on now! Whoop! Why did I stop moving? Why, I should have just... Ah, whatever. <laughs> fire! Fire on the planet! Fire in the holes that's going in the windows! <laughs> okay, I'm waiting for the punch, waiting for the punch. Don't smash those, please. Ah, you smashed them. You smashed them. There's no little meteors left. It's sad. That's why you can't get you can't get his punch too close to those meteors. Oh, here comes fire. <laughs> <laughs> you have a lot of time to react to the fire as well as the meteors, so no excuses for getting hit, including me. <laughs> and okay, and he, as you can tell, he gets stuck in there for quite a while. Bingo! That's so you got plenty of time to even hit him with one of the little meteors. Incoming! Fire too. 
<laughs> okay, now I'm gonna get next to. It's, okay, he's doing two waves here. I'm gonna get next to some of these little. There we go. Get next to the planets and call it a day. <laughs> so this is his grand power. Yep, he gets his power from the grand star. <laughs> now he's back to regular size Bowser. <laughs> <sighs> now I remember your why you're my arch nemesis. You're so annoyingly hard to squish. Good thing I win anyway. Ha! Well, you've been playing. My master plan has moved on to the next phase. Tough luck, Mario. Bowser away! <laughs> and while he goes, we collect. Our beautiful shiny grand star and end off world two for now until we get some invitation letters for stuff. <laughs> but yeah, that, that, like when I mentioned his floor before, did you ever take a look at this? It's, it's, I don't know. It looks so abstracty beautifulness, if if that's a word. And <laughs> unfortunately, I cannot go and sit on Bowser's throne, as far as I can tell. And I don't think that there are any giblets to be found over the edges of this platform or anything like that either. Nah, I didn't think so. So let's grab that grand star and call World 2's main path, I guess you could say, done for the part. <laughs> but remember, we're gonna have to come back. Stuff to come back to in World 1 as well, so... Don't worry, we'll get it all. We're gonna 100% the sucker, we're gonna get every star you can imagine! Woo! World 3 is for you and me! Heck yeah! <laughs> of course, totals. Yep, yep, yep. Comet Metal, mandatory. Got them on both the worlds as part. Delightful. And here we go! Well, how about that? You fought a giant Bowser monster, and then he turned tail and ran right off, right? Well then, let's get on after him. With the power of this grand star, we can keep going through time and space, no problem. So it sounds like your special one is still with that Bowser monster, eh? Well, let's not just sit around getting older. Let's get going, Captain. Woo! Here we go! World 3 Ho! Behind the ear thrusters go! <laughs> yeah! More fun awaits! Ooh. Ooh. Just imagine what we're coming up to next with all those little galaxies showing all sorts of different elements coming. Wow, an entirely new world. Looks like the path splits up ahead. Hey, don't look at me. The captain makes the choices, am I right? Yes, you are right, and it's all about walkthrough organization in the case of me. <laughs> but for now, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when we start exploring World 3.